Good morning, Ed. I just wanted to give you a little fresh perspective on this Imagine you inquired about. And I uh, thought I'd give it a little walk around. It's such a hot day. I didn't know if you'd be coming out, so I figured I'd give you a little tour of it. So I guess you know something about campers, having had one. And uh, what you found at the Imagine Online, you probably found a lot of good news. They're a very uh, popular brand, very high quality, low warranty, concern rate. Got all the cowbell you're looking for, things like your power leveler. Um, all of your connections here are inside the coach, which is nice because that helps it with its uh, extended season camping to keep everything inside out of the elements. This one has a dry weight of 6,018 pounds. Nice big radius cut doors on these Imagines. And a little bit of a motion detector light there. You can see the aluminum subframe. It's also, you know, closed off under the bed. or storage under the bed, but there's no air gap, so you won't get any intrusion of cold or hot air in there. A little bit better for conserving your temperature. Put your slide there. It's got a nice Schwintec slide on this coach. That being said, that's an electric motor, so you don't have to deal with any hydraulics or cables. Of course, we've got a really big power awning, outside speakers. So nice refreshing black and white gap graphics too. Got the ladder on the back, got a spare tire. All right, and it is pre-wired for backup camera. Let's go ahead inside and take a look here. Got your aluminum tread stairs, so you corrode. I love this floor plan. It's kind of like a little fifth wheel, you know? It's got the uh, lounge chairs back here. These recline. There's also some LED lights and there's massage and heat in them. Thomas Paine furniture. Each side has an outlet with a little table, coffee table, if you will. Got solid walnut cabinetry. There's your flat screen smart TV. Got more motion lights at the entryway, LED lights throughout. It's got the new style stove. That's just a light that you can turn on and off if you're not crazy about the blue. But uh, just a little courtesy light, glass top. Three burners, big farm sink, table extender. One thing you'll notice about um, Grand Design is they take great, great effort in keeping all vents out of the floors. You won't find any heat vents in the floors, so it's good on feet and it's good to keep dirt and debris. But again, that temperature exchange, it helps maintain a cool or hot temperature. They're built for extended season camping and the, the whole company concept is for full-time living. So they really try to do um, most of their thoughtfulness and their construction is geared in that direction. U-shaped dinette. We have the table squatted down. Of course, you'd sister the cushions around and make that a big old bed if you have extra company. I'm sure you're familiar with the uh, propane and electric fridge freezer. You imagine it has a great bathroom. Big showers, lots of storage, cubby holes, a proper china bowl, and plenty of room. You're not squashed in the corner. If you have to use it, you can use it with comfort and uh, some extra storage over here for your whatnot. Little sink, some counter space. It's got a nice solid pocket door. And then here you have your main master bedroom. Plenty of closet space. It's got its own access door. Great for fresh air. Got TV hookups in here if you wanted to add that to this room. And of course, it's a nice walk around bed too, which is super cool. Of course, you have little USB ports and things like that that you need. But it's nice to be able to walk around the bed. It's not a camper that is quite right up against the door. And it also kind of means that you don't have to be restricted to this mattress, although it's a good mattress. It's not, you know, something you have to live with. If you have a camper 10 years and you want something different, it's not a unique size that can't be replaced. So there's your under the bed storage. It's got lifters. Nice construction box there. Of course, you probably have seen these too. If you've been looking online, these quirky little pet bowls, those come out if you don't have pets. But if you do, there's a place to store those. It's nice with the no vents in the floor too if you have pets that uh, keeps the debris out. Little dog hairs and cat hairs. Of course, you have your crown roof. It's got that Tudor stripping across the top. Stainless look, microwave. And any break, I just wanted to give you a 
little shout out. Thanks for inquiring about this camper. I'm going to give you a call. See if you're looking for a quote or to come see it or what your plans are. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, hope you're having a great day. Happy Wednesday. It's 100 degrees in here. But um, <laughs> hopefully we can help you take the cool route at home. And uh, we'll get all this sorted out for you and make, uh, make forward progress. You have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.